you've got questions about money. Well, we have the man to answer those questions. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Good to be with you today, Bob. So it's good to be with you because you're going to help someone, a couple with this question. It goes like this. My wife and I are contemplating adoption. What do we need to know about costs, tax breaks, financial assistance available? Wow. Well, that is a, a whole uh, hour or two discussion, Bob. There's so much there uh, in terms of potential tax credits, in terms of potential employer assistance. It really depends on an individual's uh, particular, particular set of uh, circumstances. But not only are there benefits for the adoption itself, but of course, once you have a child and adopted a child legally, they are treated just as any other biological legal child would be. So whether that be the ability to uh, use HSA accounts to help pay for their qualified medical expenses because now they're a dependent, or the ability to, uh, to put aside money and pay for college on a, on a tax efficient basis for, for certain individuals. So there's a lot there uh, that may be available for individuals. It, it's hard to say without knowing more about a particular individual's case as, as to what benefits they may or may not qualify for though. Yeah. So I, in terms of cost, I've heard them ranging anywhere from 20 to $50,000 in terms of adoption costs. Does that sound reasonable? It certainly sounds reasonable in some areas. Uh, I've definitely worked with folks who have spent quite a bit more than that in terms of total cost. Some of it depends upon where you're adopting from, whether it's a domestic adoption or whether you're adopting overseas, whether there's travel involved. So those obviously, those things can significantly increase costs. Uh, but yeah, I think for, for a lot of people, twenty five dollars to $50,000 is a, is a good benchmark, but I certainly wouldn't be surprised if someone came to me and said, we spend twice that much on adoption. Yeah. And, and you mentioned credits. Uh, there's one, the federal adoption credit. That Indeed. Yep. There's the federal adoption credit. And then in addition to that, again, once you've legally adopted, you've got the child tax credit that an individual may be eligible for. If you are paying for, let's say, uh, daycare, then there's the dependent care credit that now you can utilize too. And all of these can be stacked on top of each other, providing you actually qualify for, for, for each of them. Yeah. And then lastly, um, there is some at times financial assistance available through grants and loans and the whatnot for these costs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's certainly some generic programs out there that regardless of who or where you're adopting from uh, are out there. And then there's also programs that are designed specifically for certain segments of the population, whether that be high risk individuals, individuals uh, from certain areas of the world, individuals of certain faiths. There are a lot of different charitable organizations out there trying to help get folks adopted so that they have good homes to go to. So always best to look around and do your homework. One thing we know, adopting a child, at least in this country, is not going to be easy. It's not going to be inexpensive. So whatever help you can get, uh, certainly worth it because it is obviously an amazing cause. Yeah. Well, I, I'd like to give folks a homework assignment today. Um, and I think you know what that is. Well, I can't imagine what it could be other than send us your questions. So if you've got a question for Bob and I, give us a shout. Email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to seeing your questions real soon. <music>